What's your phone number, please? Five zero nine four. All right, we got a guest in the studio today. Uh, actually, two of them, Gavin and Paul, are here. They are my TV friends. In the Shadows Entertainment Group is the name of their company, and uh, you can look them up on YouTube. Actually, we're live on YouTube right this very minute. Uh, so, uh, you want to get on YouTube and uh, see some uh, real action on Country Classified? You can see what I do here and figure out why I can't look up telephone calls while I'm on the radio. Uh, once again, the number eight seven seven. 588 877-588-1021, brought to you by our excellent sponsors, the folks at Cowboy Up Roofing in Wingo, Kentucky, and the folks at State Line Ranch and Home. They're on Highway 641. If you're headed into the metropolitan area of Hazel, Kentucky, you look on the right just as you enter the city limits. I'm sorry, on the left, just as it's going into Hazel, and there's a big old corral. And right next to it is a building there, and that is the folks at State Line Ranch and Home, which has whatever you need for your ranch. And for your home. Plus, they bring us country classifieds. Good morning. You're on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for us today? All right. What you got? Phone number, please. Nine two eight forty six. About to write it down. Four six zero six. All right, sir. Thank you. We appreciate you calling Country Classified. Twenty one zero two, and uh, we're going to do some other flipping of the switches here and get Gavin on the radio with us. Good morning, sir. How you doing? I'm old and hairy, but I'm having a wonderful time. Gavin and I are old friends. Uh, Gavin uh, came in, wandered in one night, uh, probably seven, eight, ten years ago, and uh, sang karaoke with us. He's an amazing singer. He was the uh, one of the quarter finalists in the old Nashville Star TV show, if that tells you anything. And you can see him sing karaoke with us quite often. And uh, we've become friends over the years. Uh, yeah, Gavin is uh, an amazing guy, wears a lot of hats. Uh, how many TV shows have you got in production now, and where are they? Uh, well, right now we have a total of four, and we're currently working on a Halloween special because we just got back from Virginia City, uh, Nevada, so and we did you, some filming out there. And you can look that up on YouTube at In the Shadows Entertainment Group, yes? Yep. That's All right, fair. we got a caller on the line here. We're going to do some country classified business. Good morning. You're on the air. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Thirty-four inch, three-point hitch. Okay, your phone line. I'm not sure what's up with it, but I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. But we got that now. Three-point hitch for for a Montana tractor. Two two seven. 8948. Alrighty, thank you. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Willie 102, Cactus Jack. It helps me a lot if you do not use speaker phones. Uh, I have a lot of trouble with hearing, and as the folks in the room here can attest to, uh, uh, sometimes you have to repeat three or four times for me. I do better with headphones, but the echo is really difficult for me. Uh, the number is 877-588-1021. Call me and uh, we'll put you on the radio. Country Classifieds. And we've got another victim here. Hi, you're on the air. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Ah, well, we got you, man. What's up? It runs and rolls, huh? All righty. Eight zero four twenty one ninety nine. 
All right, I didn't get your first name, and when I go to look these up after the show, it'll help me a lot. Tom? All right. Tom, we're tickled to death. Thank you for calling us on Country Classifieds on Willie 102. 877 1021 The line is open if you want to be next. Call, once again, 877 1021 Lots of stuff going on this weekend. My buddy, Dr. Jeff, and my other buddy, Big Country, are going to be out cooking at Raptoberfest tonight. I'm not sure what time they get started, but it'll be this afternoon, 4 or 5 o'clock. And uh, they've got uh, they've added shoestring fries now to the repertoire, and then they've got the uh, fried Twinkies and the fried Oreos. Uh, I'm not sure if they make funnel cakes or not, but I bet if you ask them, they'll make you anything if you want to make a donation. $20,000 plus was raised for Sunrise Children's Services during barbecue on the river. Just selling Twinkies, Oreos, shoestring, shoestring fries. And uh, they're also just cool guys. Sometimes you just want to give them money because that's where they are. Dr. Jeff from Big Country at Raptoberfest will tell you more about that. But right now, you're on the radio. What's your name and what do you have for us today? Ray, how are you? Haven't heard from you in a while. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Willie 102, Cactus Jack, the lovely Paula over here doing the camera duties. If you happen to be on uh, YouTube, uh, if you're uh, taking it out, we've got YouTube live with Country Classifieds this morning with Inner Shadows Entertainment Group. Right quick, Gavin, we don't have a whole lot of time to devote to this because we're taking phone calls right now, but uh, tell us what you're doing tonight. What I'm doing tonight is performing live at the Columbus Belmont State Park Battlefield in Columbus, Kentucky. This is their big weekend, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Civil War Days. Population of Columbus, Kentucky gets quite large this time of year. Very large. All right, we'll talk more about that. Uh, Y'all hang around after the show, and we'll talk to Gavin uh, during the phone call segment of the morning uh, after 1030. Uh, you're on the radio. Good morning. What's your name, and what do you have for Country Classifieds? Is that 395-4996? All right, I think I got that off. I can read it. Thank you, Robert. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Brought to you by State Line Ranch and Home and by Cowboy Up Roofing. Uh, State Line Ranch and Home in Hazel, Kentucky. Cowboy Up Roofing based out of Wingo. We'll be back with more on Country Classifieds. <laughs> and we're out for a minute. <laughs> You got another set of headphones? What's that? You got another set of headphones? They steal them out of here a lot. I got one in the box. Okay. This one probably only works in one channel, would be my guess, but uh, should be pot number one here on that little switcher there in front of you down there. All right. Be sure and make sure it's turned down because that's pretty hot. It'll, it'll cross your eyes. Oh, my ears. <laughs> it'll cross your eyes if you plug it up too hot. All right. Port one. All right. Uh, should be one. We'll find out, won't we? Got it. Oh, wow. It's only in one ear. Yeah, that's what I said. I think they got the channel burned out. Sometimes But it's okay for me because I can only hear one ear anyway, but. Uh, these are docs, and if I move them out of here, he'll come and take them away. <laughs> so I use them. Uh, all right, let me see what I got going on this weekend. Uh, 
Willie 102 Country Classifieds. Cactus Jack at your service. Taking your phone calls. That number is 877-588-1021. 1-877-588-1021. Uh, we are in here with my buddy Gavin and my buddy Paula. And uh, they're talking about what they're doing at Columbus Belmont State Park tonight. Uh, Gavin, tell me more. Uh, you're going to be opening the show. What, what kind of ceremony does that involve? Well, they're going to go ahead and uh, post the flag. And of course, uh, they'll have the opening ceremony where we'll have uh, one guy come out and do the national anthem, and then I'll go ahead and open the show with a 30-minute set. All right, cool. Uh, you get to hear some good singing and uh, see a really, really talented Civil War reenactor. Oh, so yeah. That's what we're doing tonight at Columbus Belmont Park, but now we're taking your calls. Hi, you're on the radio. Good morning. What's your name, and what do you have for Country Classified? Hey, Floyd. I know that voice. How are you, man? I believe that. Just because you told me. What you got? What you dealing on today? All right. Cheap, but twice the money right there. What else you got? Recognize that reduced price. I saw your ad from last week. What else you got? Just got the one left now? All righty. Zero one. Thank you, Floyd. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Willie 102, Cactus Jack here. What else is going on this weekend? Well, Cornstalk Music Fest is in uh, Bandana, Kentucky, featuring Willie Nelson's very own granddaughter, Ray Lynn Nelson. That's at Bandana. And uh, let's see, that starts tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And boy, they're going to raise a lot of money for a lot of good causes. They're donating everything to uh, Book for Hope for that one at Cornstalk Music Fest. A lot of bands, a lot of good stuff. Paducah Knights of Columbus October Fish Fries have returned, too. Every Friday night from 4 to 7, drive through, carry out only sale. Your favorite fish and shrimp, dinners, all the delicious sides, uh, beans, slaw, hush puppies, so on and so forth. They'll tell you about it. The Paducah Knights of Columbus at 3028 Jefferson Street in Paducah, 4 to 7 tonight. And we've got some more, but right now we've got a caller on the line. You're on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Five nine forty two ninety eight. All righty, thank you, sir. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. 877 588 1021. Drew a blank there. I've only said that phone number probably 20,000 times in the last 10 years, but uh, that's how it goes when you're old and uh, trying, to, trying to make all the turns. Cactus Jack is my name. I'm in here hanging out with you. On a Friday morning, as you heard a few minutes ago, the legendary Drifters in concert at the Kentucky Opry tomorrow night 
Still a few tickets left, 2705-2738-69. Or look them up and find your seats and uh, make room for your whole family to sit together at KentuckyOpera.com. Willie 102, you're on the radio. What name, what do you have for country classifieds? All right, uh, I'm sorry, but I did not understand. I, the only word I got out of that was Fleetwood. Can you try it again, please? <laughs> Meat saw, all righty. And uh, what are you asking for it? 500 OBO. And uh, your phone number again, please. Seven three zero five. Thank you, Brad. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Willie 102 brought to you by State Line Ranch and Home in Hazel and Cowboy Up Ripping based out of Wingo. We're Country Classifieds on Willie 102. We're here every Friday morning buying and selling and trading with me. Uh, I give you a heads up about Dr. Jeff and Tracy Lawrence in here on Sunday mornings. Lots of Christian country music. Our buddy Eric Horner entered the charts this week, the bluegrass charts at number six with his new song, and uh, he's doing good. Now, this week, they'll play that, but they've also got this week's topic, the sin of worry and doubt. And you're going to hear Eric Horner sing, Waiting on the Lord, I suspect. Uh, seven to nine Sunday mornings right here on Willie 102. It's Abundant Living. But today, we're classifying the country. You're on Country Classifieds. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Two Eleven College Street. And what was the town again? All right, I thought you said Benton. I'm glad I double-checked. You got a phone number, Chad, where they can call you and find out what you got and how to get there and stuff? 2540977. All right, thank you, sir. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. Willie 102, Cactus Jack at your service. I wanted to give everybody a heads up about something else, too. Gavin, you're a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most famous YouTubers that I know is a guy named Derek Biondi, who is now based in Tennessee. He was scattered all over the frozen north uh, for years and years, but he moved to Tennessee last year to avoid uh, high taxes and let go brand, let's go Brandon situations. Uh, anyway, uh, I saw his YouTube uh, channel posted a video a couple of days ago or three. And uh, as he was coming across, I recognized I-24 Bridge because of all the patches and all the potholes. It's like a gravel road, uh, state of Illinois spending our tax money wisely. But anyway, uh, I, I digress. I'm getting too political here. This is country classified. I did want to say, though, that I watched Derek cross I-24 Bridge and he pulled in at the exit three pilot truck stop. You can see the marathon next door and you can see the hotel across the road. And uh, it's all uh, one of the most famous YouTubers. He got close to 3 million viewers, I think. A lot of people wow. watch his YouTube channel. And uh, if you want to see something cool, uh, we're going to try to do a clip of this at Rattoberfest tonight. So, uh, uh, if you got any friends that are Derek fans, uh, we're, we're, you can take a look at that video. It's the one with the murky, Mercury Marquee of Brougham that smokes like it's on fire. <laughs> 1021 Country Classified. We're going to get one more caller here before the break. Uh, good morning. You're on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Yes, sir. You're on. All right, sir. We've got a fellow that calls in from time to time. It has some musical instruments for sale, and I remember last time he called, he had a steel guitar. So call me back after the show, and I'll look back through the archive and try to find you that number, okay? I appreciate you listening. Thank you for calling Country Classifieds. We'll be back. The number, if you want to hang on through the break, 877-588-1021. Country Classifieds on Willie 102. <laughs> You talk, you're talking to me? <laughs> that happens. Oh, my God. Uh, you'd be amazed how many of them, they call up and I answer the phone off the air. They're there, and they think I'm talking to them, and they hang up. 
Hold on. Or they think I'm I'm not talking to them and right. hang up. They think you know they don't want to be on the radio anyway, is what it amounts to. Good morning, Billy Radio. This is Jack. You need to hang on through the break. All right, just hold the line. It'll be about a minute and a half, okay? Yes, sir. I don't have a way to put you on hold now. Hang on. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to go ahead and skip through the rest of this weekend stuff. But first, I'm going to get just a little short, brief thing for you, what time it starts and all that, and tell them they want more details. We're going to talk to you more after. What time does it start? 5.30. Well, no, 5, my set, 5, uh, 5 o'clock is opening ceremony. 5.30. What time can they go down there now? Oh, yeah. They're having it's, educational. It's open all, I know the park's open all yeah. day, but I don't know. They're before having. The Mass Act, they barricaded all off before the encampment, and you really? can only walk in. You can't, well, you can't. You, in other words, they only open the gates for vendors and people pulling in there for the campers and stuff There's, until Friday morning. You know, you can go in there, but you can't go in. Oh, no, it's it, it It's open. open. They open. start their stuff yesterday. Today's well, educational. We, we need to let everybody know that, too. All right. But like I say, it's just a thumbnail because a lot of people will hang up after classifieds is over. You know, we have a lot of listeners that don't even listen to anything but the show. So, oh, okay. Why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> I'm making three dollars an hour and better now, Dave. <laughs> this thing goes up so fast. Two country classifieds. Cactus Jack here at your service, doing my thing uh, for a few more minutes here. It's Friday morning, and we've got Gavin and Paula in here, and uh, we're live on YouTube this morning. That doesn't happen too terribly often, but uh, we're here today. You're probably gonna. I, I don't know what they'll do about playing the drifters in that commercial, and you know I know how YouTube is about uh, music, but we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, you're going to be at Columbus Belmont. I understand. When did they start up? Yesterday. They started up yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You've been there before. I have too, but there's folks in, you know, we got a lot of folks moving into the area for the same reasons I talked a while ago. So tell us a little bit about where Columbus is and what's happening today and uh, so on and so forth. Well, in Columbus, Belmont, right now in Columbus, Kentucky, they're actually having Civil War Days, which is going to be taking place this weekend. They're going to have full reenactments of the Civil War between the North and the South. And of course, they're going to have a ghost walk that's going to go through the cemetery, which is something new. The war between the states and a ghost walk. How yeah. cool is that? And, of course, you're going to have me at 5.30 for 30 minutes. Yeah. Performing live. I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, be, we'll be at an opposite place. I, you know, we talk about this all the time. We are both in the entertainment business and world-famous entertainers. Always, uh, when something happens, we can't be there because we're performing for something else somewhere else. And in my case, tonight, it's karaoke at Super City. We'll get underway at 8 o'clock with the singing, but we also set up for a sound check and... Uh, Everybody come over and get a good meal at uh, Super City Metropolis. Or if you're in the Belmont, uh, Columbus, Belmont area, you can go down and enjoy Gavin. Uh, and if not, we'll tell you when he's coming to sing karaoke with me again. And you can hear him in Metropolis. Hint, hint. Oh, there you go. We got a caller who's been holding on the line here for about a week. Uh, good morning. You're on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for us today? Two nine three zero nine zero seven. All right, I believe I can read that. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it, and thanks for hanging on so long, being so patient. Country classifieds on Willie one hundred two. Ready for another call? We still got three four minutes here to take your calls at eight seven seven five eight eight one zero two one. Now, other weekend stuff going on here. We talked about the Drifters in concert. Uh, you never know when these old acts are going to stop performing. You know, the directors have been to Kentucky Opry a couple of times. If you haven't seen them before, this could be your last chance. And uh, tickets are selling out. Uh, they've sold out uh, a couple of times there. Tickets at 270-527-3869 for the Kentucky Opry. 
And you can also go online to KentuckyOpry.com. Now, tomorrow morning, an awesome show with uh, Terry Clark, uh, Greatest Country Songs of the Music, a tribute to Loretta Lynn. Uh, we're originally going to have Loretta on there to talk about, uh, have Reba on there to talk about the new tour with Terry Clark and Reba. But uh, Terry has uh, moved some things around and has another tribute to Loretta Lynn tomorrow morning at 6 and Sunday evening at 6, uh, Willie 102, Country Gold. And uh, another caller on the line here on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for us today? A camper for you and your horses. All right, it's getting horse show season and rodeo season. What's your phone number, Joe? Four two nine two. For some reason, this pen is acting up, but I think I got that number where I can read it. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate you calling Country Classifieds. It's Willie One Hundred Two Country Classifieds. Cactus Jack here. Taking your calls, we've got Gavin and Paula in the house, and we're going to talk some more about In the Shadows Entertainment Group and about uh, the TV shows that they have in production. Uh, my favorite one, I think, is Truth, and Le Truth or Legends in Your Hometown. And uh, you can see these. Just go to YouTube on uh, online and go to ITSEG or In the Shadows Entertainment Group. You posted a lot of stuff lately. Uh, tell us about some of the stuff that's uh, very popular. And we talked about Virginia City. What else is uh, selling well on YouTube? Um bunch of teasers for some of our new shows that are going to be coming out. Uh, we've got the Abandoned Paranormal Road Trip, which we're actually going to be filming uh, Sunday at a location. Undisclosed, of course. A secret undisclosed location. Yep. I love it. I've got another caller on the line. Let's get this right quick. We'll talk about this after the show. Good morning. You're on the radio. What's your name? What do you have for Country Classifieds? Is this a wood lathe or a metal lathe? All righty. Yeah, I just uh, I just need to know if it was a type that cuts wood or if it was a steel um, milling, milling type of lathe. Two sixty-five. The price on the lathe. What about the nail gun? Do you have a price on that? Fifty buckaroos. That come with a battery. Well, if we got one, we got something to go by anyway. Thank you, Bob. We appreciate you calling Country Classified. Jack here, ten thirty-one. I'm gonna run through this recap here. I got my guitar picker going, and now uh, we're gonna. Uh, Give you a heads up on the ads here now after the show, not, uh, not now, but after the show, you can call the same number, 877-588-1021, and we will uh, dig through here and find these phone numbers, and uh, Portia has a 4,000 pounder, 12-foot uh, lift, she's also got a 1988 521cc MX motocross bike, also has an automatic planer, and uh, she got uh, 2,000 foot of, or 1,000 foot, 1,000 foot of uh, number two electric cable, the three cables of uh, direct berry. And uh, she also has, let me see here. Uh, oh, uh, that's the price on, on uh, something else. Uh, Jerry has an 18 foot boat motor and trailer, fiberglass truck topper. Uh, Alma wants to buy a three point hitch for a Montana style tractor. Tom has an International 464, one of the styles that I used to play on when I was a little kid way up there in those fruit orchards in Union County, Illinois. Really nice all-around little utility tractor. He's got a good price on that and a nine-foot finish mower, uh, but he wants you to make an offer. He's also got an electric clothes dryer. Ray has a 22 semi-automatic pistol, a Smith & Wesson brand, with three extra clips, three magazines to go with it. 
Robert has size nine and a half red wing soft toe boots. I can't believe the price on these. Uh, he's also got a climbing deer stand. He started out with several of those, got one left. With deer season staring us in the face, he got a good price on that loggy bio unit, uh, something you can climb right up the tree and take the stand with you. Floyd has a tire, one tire, 235-75R15, which is what my trailer runs. It's a good year. Uh, he also has a little knee scooter, a physical therapy unit, if you've had uh, some kind of problem with your knee. And he has one chainsaw left out of all those saws he had here a while back. Uh, he's got one Husqvarna chainsaw left. Harold has a car, a Ford Escort 1998 model. One of my absolute favorite automobiles of all time, especially for cheap operating. But like mine, it needed an engine. I ended up replacing the engine in mine twice all the years I had it, but it was worth the trouble. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, we've got Brad has a Fleetwood brand tabletop meat saw. And uh, Chad has a yard sale in Clinton, Kentucky, 211 College Street. Didn't get the film, but he has a handmade board string. And he needs to move that thing along. He's also looking to buy a steel guitar. And uh, Michael has an old Coke table and two chairs, kind of the twisted steel rod legs and the uh, high seated chair. Joe has a 97 model aluminum heart horse trailer. Uh, it's got a roof air and a dressing room, changing room. I believe he said it holds four horses. Bob has a lathe, a wood lathe, and also he has a battery powered nail gun. Good prices on both of those. Thank you for hanging out with us on Country Classifieds on Willie 102. We're going to get back to music here with George Strait. Remember, we'll get your phone calls at 877-58-1021. Willie 102, Country Classifieds. <laughs> Think I was gonna make it through. <laughs> About to choke to death. Ah, all right. The phone numbers while you're on the on the air. Uh, it just it's just way too much going on in here. Yeah. <laughs> we get something to drink. Here. They may kill your YouTube because of that music. Uh. I don't think it's going to pick up uh, with the drifters on the YouTube. I don't think it's going to be a okay. If it's fully audible, then of course it'll copyright you. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking it up or not. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. All right. About a minute and a half, we're going to talk about your stuff a little bit. Let's be safe. We'll turn that down. Yeah. <laughs> I thought about it a bit doing it anyway. Hi, YouTube world. <laughs> I thought that was really cool to see Derek there in his yeah. old Mercury car. And uh, this thing's drinking oil. He burned a gallon of oil in it in 500 miles or something like that. Wow. But uh, beautiful car. I mean, the inside of it looked like it looked like it was probably purchased new last year, and they'd been garage kept and all that. But on one side of it, they had like four gallon of Bondo all the way down the side. Oh, As he said, he said it looked like it threw the said originally. He said he was going to flip it himself. Somebody by the time we drove it down there, he said, "I don't know. I may keep this one and fix it up." He liked he liked them big cushy. Cars. We call Master Car Show in Virginia City. They were some sleek cars. We're talking Ferraris, Porsches, Lamborghinis, uh, Mon uh, what is it? Uh, McLarens. Really? They're all there. Yeah, that McLaren's cool, right? All right, we're going to about 20 seconds here. <laughs> yeah, that McLaren's a genuine hot rod there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Me and her got into a Ferrari. King George on Willie 102. They also call him the cat in the hat. Can't imagine why. George Strait on Willie. Nobody in his right mind would have left her. Nobody in his right mind would be in here with Cactus Jack on the radio except on Fridays when uh, we have all the country classified folks. And Gavin is in here. Now, uh, you're going to be at Columbus Belmont. That's just the, that uh, those dimmers do that once in a while. It's paranormal. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Paranormal investigator, tell us what that actually is. We uh, go ahead and investigate claims of paranormal activity or basically life after death to see uh, if basically what it is is we want to see if it's naturally made or if it is, you know, paranormal or abnormal. Yeah. 
So I, I have been a party to quite a bit of your stuff, yes, and you I've have. watched almost everything I think you've ever produced. You've been doing this, what, 10, 12 years now? Since 2012, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. So um, very experienced. Now, you do a lot of shows, uh, Paranormal Con, similar to a Comic Con, if nobody knows what Paracom is. Uh, you got That's what you did in Virginia City, right? Yeah, we were at the uh, Para Experience 2022, where basically we had a whole bunch of investigators and special guests. And we basically took over the entire city of Virginia City, Nevada, and we got to investigate with guests that actually flew out to join us. And we got to like Washoe Club, the uh, the BC Depot, the Piper's Opera House, the uh, Mackey Mansion, just so many locations that are saturated with paranormal activity. And these are all historical, like uh, oh, when yes. Pa and Little Joe and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Hoss and Ben and all them were out there, yeah, uh, had them, that was the other one. We've got a caller on the line here. If y'all will just be patient, I'll get to you in just a minute. Now. We're going to wrap up with Gavin talking about what he's doing uh, this evening. At uh, You're getting underway at 5.30? 5.30 at Columbus Belmont Battlefield State Park, yep. And what, I know you got the reenactments. You can, you can buy a, a possum skin hat or whatever you want out there, I guess, yeah. I believe you can go ahead and buy a Civil War relics. Um, they have, uh, you know, prototypes of guns and knives. You can get uniforms. Um, but they have other events going on there besides vendors. Um, you also have like the ball dancing. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get to do the waltz. The, which other dancers are there? Tennessee Reel. Tennessee Reel. I mean, there's a, this is a big deal. Kentucky. Oh, this yeah. is our big thing uh, every year. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to uh, run along here to get back to music for just a minute because the ton is in the house and he's got your weekend weather forecast. It's going to be colder tomorrow morning. I've got to go put something over all my stuff so it doesn't freeze up and bust and all that stuff. <laughs> we'll have the weather forecast next with Louis Vuitton on Willie 102. Uh, all right, you still with me? Yes, sir. All right, what's up? I was just uh, wanting to ask you the number for the lady that had the direct burial table. All right, her name is Portia, P O R T I A. And she's had this for sale for a while. It's uh, three strands, you got a thousand foot of it, uh, number two size. And uh, she wants 2,000 for it. Her number is 618 309 5094. All right. Appreciate you listening. Thanks for your patience. we got a lot going on in here this morning. I appreciate you hanging on. All right. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> uh, so you got a paranormal show next week? Oh, no. Sunday, you said. You were we're going to film Sunday. Yeah. Uh, tell the YouTube world, if you want to, what, what's coming up. You know. What's coming up? Well, let's see. Besides, I know you got a new TV show in production. Oh, yeah. That's the one you just talked about. Yeah, the Abandoned Paranormal Road Trip. Where can we find the rest of the stuff? Is it all on YouTube now? Or you no, the YouTube is basically where we put our trailers and, and our YouTube shorts and some of our excursions. We've been going out to different places to do, um, you know, just checking out locations. And we're not on the air. I mean, we'll yeah, do this again in just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what do you want me to talk about on, on the air or just yeah. now? Oh, okay. I've still got one more break. Okay, we'll wait for that. Okay. Uh, because you can find it now everywhere. We're on Amazon, we're on Apple, we're on Google, we're on Fire TV. Is the viewership up? Or are you? Yeah, I mean, we, we've got a real good contract going right now. Yeah, well, our contract got up. Cool. So we're doing really good now. It's where Freddie lives. Freddie is. I gotta talk to Freddie. Freddie. Hicks. Oh. Okay. That's where I gotta go. Oh. Okay. You just don't know what it is until your birthday. Oh. Okay. Well, now the YouTubers know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a surprise coming for his birthday this year, and I have friend that's <laughs> helping me hook me up with the situation, and I gotta go visit that friend at eleven o'clock. You have friends? Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to shout out to all our folks that come out and uh, sing with us at karaoke and all. They support everything that Cactus Jill and I do, including you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we do a lot of stuff that does not get publicized. We've done probably a dozen fundraisers for one benefit or another reason. Uh, yeah. Some folks that are recovering from cancer, some folks, uh, there was one family that uh, they had the mom and dad and three children, the house burned and all they got out was what they were wearing. Oh, and uh, we did, we just showed up and there was a benefit for them. We showed up to play the music. Well, yeah. these three little girls kept getting up and singing. And uh, I found out later that these were the three children that were in that house fire. They brought them out through the smoke. Wow. And, you know, it's just such a humbling thing. Yeah. Uh, we had a girl that a little over a year ago, she was battling uh, stage four cancer and it was in several uh, places in her body. And uh, when we got in on the benefit, either that day or the next day, she got the news that all her screens were better. That was several months ago and she was pronounced, she's cancer free now. She's got to go back every three months. So God is good. Uh, we do, if you look at my Facebook page, it's Jack Newberry. And we do, the first thing I do every morning is post a lot of Christian stuff. Uh, you kind of have to go to my, my page and check it because the algorithms clamp it down. You just do not get a lot uh, of spiritual coverage, no matter what you're covering on on the social media. Oh, of course. But uh, the people that need to get it will get it, and uh, we do that. You come to our karaoke in a bar, and this happens pretty well every week. And there'll be somebody in there, and we'll have a prayer circle for them after we shut down. We'll get out there and pray with them, and uh, we've had some really good blessings from the Lord taking care of that. Uh, we do. We're doing a wedding on the 15th of October for a girl who I first held her in my arms. She was about that long down here where you walked in where the big studio is, the talk studio that used to be the mm -hmm. Q studio. And her mom and dad both worked here at that time. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm doing her wedding next next Saturday night. And see, you know, that's not open to the public. Those kind of things we do just uh, because it's a way of giving back. we are right. very blessed with all of this. I'm 68 years old. I'm still able to sing. I'm still able to do the heavy lifting and the traveling. And uh, <laughs> I'm very thankful for that. And I praise <laughs> God for that every day. <clears throat> All right. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to talk about this Terry Clark Loretta Lynn, a couple of the weekend things. Then we're going to get your TV stuff going next and where to find you on social media and so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, thanks for letting me publicize my stuff on YouTube. <laughs> Right. The coolest thing that's happened with YouTube to me this week was seeing Derek over here at Texas Three at Pilot Truck Stop pouring oil in that car. That was that was yeah. cool. And seeing that pothole I twenty four bridge, it looked like somebody was playing tic tac toe with asphalt. <laughs> and I saw that and that's got to be I twenty four bridge. And they showed the the arches on the right. side. Yep. And then the next scene when it flipped off of that, he was sitting at Pilot. Wow. Cool. We got one minute here. Get your disc jockey suit back on or your, your headphones so you can hear me. <laughs> Did you message him? He hasn't seen it yet. Oh. So just tell him that um, I'm currently on the radio. I know that, but he hasn't seen it yet. Oh. Loretta Lynn, now you ain't woman enough to take my man. Cactus Jack here, 1047. We're 13 ahead of 11 o'clock. The orange man, Craig Hayden, coming back at you for the middle part of the day. And then I'll be back at 3 o'clock. Uh, let's see, football. UK Wildcats, uh, UK football Wildcats finally dropped one last week. Makes them 4-1 and one on the season, and tomorrow they're at home against South Carolina. And the Graves County Eagles have a bye week. Uh, Brian York actually has Friday night off this week. They'll be back at us next uh Friday night uh, against Owensboro. That one's on the road as well. Uh, Rattoberfest. Dr. Jeff and Big Country, our own morning crew, is going to be out at Rattoberfest set up and uh, cooking. And we're going to try to get uh, some kind of audio about uh, seeing Derek at Exit 3 at the Pilot Truck Stop. Uh, Rattoberfest. 
It's set up night tonight. Uh, there'll be music and food starting at six, five dollars per person. Uh, bring your kids for free to benefit the Merriman House and other local charities. And then tomorrow, uh, all day long, one admission, 10 bucks, the ladies' room pavilion, the pinup contest, the flag drags, and all the rest. That's at Rattoberfest. Uh, Terry Clark and Country Goat, we just played a Loretta to uh, honor uh, Loretta. Uh, she passed away, and we lost her Tuesday, uh, about daylight, according to what I hear. Uh, There's going to be a tribute on Country Goat with Terry Clark tomorrow morning at 6, and also Sunday evening at 6 on Willie 102. Duke and Knights Columbus Fish Fries tonight from 4 to 7 at 3028 Jefferson in Paducah. Just go by, and it's drive through and carry out only. And um, last but not least, Dr. Jeff and Tracy with Abundant Living and that Sunday morning with country Christian music and commentary and the sin of worry and doubt is what they'll talk about on Willie 102. Gavin, you are all over the place. Uh, tell us what you're doing on TV and uh, where your shows are and how we can locate you on social media. Just take a deep breath and wrap it off for us, man. <laughs> well, currently you can watch Truth or Legends in your hometown. We are on Amazon, Amazon Fire, Roku TV, Google TV, Apple TV, Paraflix, and you can also check our original show, which is The Paranormal Journey to the Unknown, which is on Amazon. And we've got some new shows that are going to be coming out. Um, by the end of uh, November, we should have at least three more brand new episodes of Truth and Legends in your hometown. It's going to be ready to air. And we're working on um, Paranormal, Abandoned Paranormal Road Trip, um, Kentucky Haunts, and that basically it that's all for is them. that all that's all yeah wow well, we do so have a halloween we do have a halloween special that i'm currently working on right now that we're going to air on paraflix and also Am, uh, apple amazon or uh we shot over in virginia city which is an amazing place to go yeah i'm gonna have to go back and uh, look all those over again i followed all the road trips but for some reason i've only just seen bits and pieces of the actual uh, actual productions i'm gonna go back and revisit all that Anyway, you're all over the place. I'm tickled to death. You carved out a little time to come out and hang out with me, Miss Paula, the camera person. Yep. The brains behind this outfit. She is the historian. She is the producer. She is the camera woman. She's way smarter than he is. And, uh, wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> I actually like both of them pretty good and their kids. Uh, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. God bless you. Have a good time tonight at Columbus Belmont State Park. You sing at, uh, you start 30. at 530. Mm -hmm. All right. That's correct. We will be back with Midnight in Montgomery from Alan Jackson coming up on Willie 102. And, <laughs> and that's how we do it in the radio station. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I, I came down that hill out there the first time Thanksgiving weekend of 1979. When I came out here, there was one very small building, about 30 foot square, and there is actually a civil defense bomb shelter back there. It's got 18 foot or 18 inch thick walls, floor, and ceiling of concrete. 18 inch, a foot and a half thick. And they just, uh, I think they just decertified that by the government so that we don't have to make reports on it anymore. I think it was 2012. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, this, this place has just been very, very important to me. I, I've done a lot of things here, and uh, I've gone through a lot of life here in this building. But it also might be haunted. You, you've actually had experiences in here, didn't you? I have had some experiences in here late at night. There have been lights that came on. There had no reason to come on. There like been, it did earlier, it's flickered? We have a camera system over here. Right. In the, in the main studio at uh, our sister station, WKYQ, and I work there more than I have anywhere else. Right. Uh, this company actually has uh, 12 or 13 radio stations in Paducah, mm -hmm. and uh, I have worked at all of them that were in existence at the time when I when they needed me. Uh, and there have been some unexplained things happen. Well, I guess uh, we need to come building. in and investigate it, huh? Well, there's a cemetery at the top. Of the I know, we saw it. I saw uh, it coming in here. And I'm kind of of the opinion that there's a burial ground everywhere we've ever been. You know, there is there is some burial ground somewhere everywhere we have ever been. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Uh, maybe we'll talk to the folks and get that. That would be pretty cool to have a Bristol Broadcasting. Uh, an investigation? Yeah. Just have to see what the folks like about it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Thank you guys. I appreciate you coming out. Appreciate it. Thompson Furniture. Check out these fall specials as new containers are rolling in.
popular pictures are back in stock. Oh, you're going to love what you see. Everybody, you're going to say. Gil Thompson 